Side Pop, hailed by many as the preeminent artist of his generation, has died at 83. He was in Rome, where he settled some 50 years ago, where he was working right up until his death yesterday afternoon. Twombly's graffiti-style paintings on large canvases made in many people's, in many people's eyes the heir to Jackson Pollock. He'd been due to open this exhibition of work at London's Dulwich Picture Gallery, his creation sharing space with the 17th century master Nicholas Poussin, the foremost painter of his day. The American-born Twombly loved Europe and lived in Rome for most of his life, like Poussin 300 years earlier. Well, today I spoke to the director of the Dulwich Picture Gallery, Ian Desjardins, and asked him what is Cy Twombly's place in modern art. He's unique. He's very, very high. Um, he's, he's got there over time because of his uniqueness and because people now appreciate him so much. Um, I think also he will last. Some artists disappear when they die. That's not going to happen to Cy Twombly. He's too important, I think. Well, let's just take a look at Arcadia, for example. Mm. Now, you'll forgive me if I don't, but I actually put to you that this looks like a children's scribble. Well, yes, but then, you know, how many of us have children's scribbles stuck on our fridge uh, door? Uh, I think that the answer to that would be that um, Cy Twombly was very interested in, in shedding all of those kind of sophisticated layers that the line can have. You know, someone who's trained in art is meant to produce a beautiful line. The abstract expressionists really threw that baby out with the bathwater long ago. But for an artist who wanted to be Poussin, um, yeah. this is a rather long way from Poussin. In another time, John, in another time. It's a very long way from Poussin. In the 20th century, um, painting like Poussin would, would be meaningless. Uh, what happens in the 20th century is that uh, so much is stripped away. And what is important really is the directness of the mark on the, on the page. And so. Cy Twombly would be worried about using uh, the right hand because it had too much fluency, too much, too much education, too much sophistication in it. So he actually used his left hand to get rid of that, to strip it all away. Let's look at Herodiat, for example, then, um, because here, here is the whole painting. Um, painting? Yes, definitely a painting. But what, what is interesting is that um, to uh, the New York art scene, by this point, uh, Cy Twombly uh, was, was committing heresy by actually including words, by including mm. lines of poetry. He really is a one-off. There isn't a pigeonhole you can put him into. Is your um, exhibition serendipitously a memorial? It's become one, very sadly. Interestingly, because he was so involved in the show at all points and obviously knew himself how ill he was, I can't help wondering whether he had that in mind as well. Um, it does have a kind of memorial air to it. Ian Dejardin talking about Cy Twombly, who died today.